need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. You have several options when printing in Photoshop. You can perform printing and scaling on an image, set your output options, and also your color management options. Select File and Print from the menu bar in versions CS5, CS4, and CS3 to launch the Print dialog box where you'll see the various options available. In versions prior to CS3, these options are available using the Print with Preview option by selecting File and then Print with Preview from the menu bar. First, you can select your printer using the drop-down right up here at the top. You can also change the number of copies by entering a value in that text box. Or you can click the Print Settings to change your printer options. Give that a click. So, for example, you could change the paper, the print quality, other options. On the Page Layout tab, if you want to change the orientation, you can just click either Portrait or Landscape to change that and so forth. This should look familiar to you from other applications when printing. Go ahead and click Cancel. Next, you can set the positioning and scaling options for your image. In the preview image, in the upper left-hand corner of this print dialog box right here, you can both position and scale the image using the mouse. If you want to set the placement of the image file in the paper, make sure that the center image checkbox is unchecked over in the position section. Otherwise, you won't be able to move it. You can then click and drag on the image in the preview window to set the placement of the image on the page. Now you could also use the top and left text boxes in the position section to set the placement of the top and left edges of the image by hand over here. And of course, if you do want the image to print in the exact center of the page, then check the center image checkbox. You can scale the image by simply placing your mouse pointer over the edge of the image file in the preview window until you see a resizing arrow. You can then click and drag to scale the image. Now if you don't see the bounding box, check the bounding box checkbox located right here to make sure that it's visible. You can also scale the image by setting a percentage of the original size in the Scale text box right here. You can also use the Height and Width text boxes just below it to set the scaling as well. If you click the Scale to Fit Media checkbox right here, the image will scale itself to fit the available page. In the upper right corner of the dialog box, use the drop-down to select Output. And that will change the advanced print options. Under Printing Marks, right here, you can print calibration bars and registration marks around the image by checking either of those text boxes. So, these are used for aligning color separations. You can check the corner crop marks checkbox just below it right here to print crop marks where the page is to be trimmed at the corners. Or you can click center crop marks to print crop marks at the center of each image edge. Checking the description checkbox below that allows you to print any caption entered into the File Info dialog box. Checking the Labels checkbox, just below that, prints the file name above the image. You can also check the Emulsion Down checkbox, right below that, to make type readable when printing on film with the photosensitive layer facing away from you. Checking the Negative checkbox 
prints an inversion of the entire output, including all masks and background color selections, converting the output to a negative. In the Functions section, down here, you can first click the Background button to call up the Color Picker dialog box and select a background color for printing outside of the image. Like that. You can click the Border button to the right of that to print a black border around the image. In the dialog box that appears, you simply type a number and select a measurement unit using the drop-down. You can click the Bleed button right here to print crop marks inside rather than outside of the image. You can use this to trim the image within the graphic. You have to type a number and set the unit of measurement to specify the width of the bleed if you do that. Now, a lot of commercial printers will require a bleed in order to do that. If you're using a printer capable of interpolation, you can check the interpolation checkbox to automatically resample a low resolution image up while printing. Interpolation is a process where the software adds pixels to an image based on the color values of the surrounding pixels. Interpolation is used when an image is upsampled to increase its resolution. This may, however, blur the output, just so you know. Now, if you had checked the calibration bars checkbox up here, it prints an 11 step grayscale in transition of 10% increments from 0% to 100%. If using a CMYK separation, a gradient tint bar is instead printed to the left of each CMY plate and a progressive color bar is printed at the right. Now if you set the drop down at the top of the additional option sections here to color management, you can set the color management to the document or proof options here set up. You can set the color handling drop down to have Photoshop, your printer, or neither manage your color profile. You can set advanced color management options at this point using the drop downs and check boxes below. Now if you're not familiar with the choices, you can just roll your mouse pointer over them like that to see a description of each appear at the bottom below here. But when you're finished, you just click the print button to launch the normal print dialog box. This should look very familiar to you, where you can set the normal print settings for your particular printer. And then once you've made your choices, you just click the print button again to print your image or done to save the settings for future use. Go ahead and click cancel for now. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.